Whatever you wanted, hey, it was freely yours. Right. Now you have to pay for food. You have to pay for water. You have to pay for clothing. You want an education, you got to go to your enemies for. Right. You want a marriage license, you got to go to your enemies for. Right. Hey, to be declared dead, you got to go to your enemies for. And who did this happen to? The children of Israel. Yes. It happened to no one else. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Father would discipline his children, right? So let's, let's find out how God disciplined his children. Amos yeah. chapter 3, verse 1. Right. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, Please. against the whole family which I brought out of the land of Egypt. So God brought his children out of the land of Egypt. We served in bondage for 400 years. This is when these 12 tribes were all together. You understand? And God brought these Moses to bring us out of Egypt. Read. Say, you. Only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, you only have I known. Hey, sis, you got a minute to learn who you are according to the Bible? You got a minute? Read. Therefore, I will punish you. He said, therefore, I will what? I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquities. So God said he was going to punish the children of Israel for all their sin. That's right. So, so guess what? Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15. Yes, sir. Because God gave his children laws and commandments to follow, right? He said, if you follow my rules, hey, I'm going to let you rule this earth. At one time, the Native American Indians was what? Here on this side of the earth, did they have any enemies? No, they was here what? Ruling. Good. They was in ruling. They was in prosperity. They had peace. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Uh-huh. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let me ask you, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bring it up. Bad thing, man. Yeah, it's a bad thing. Go to, uh, what, 49? So let's find out one of the curses that he said would happen to the North American Indians to prove that you are the children of this Bible. Read. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. He said the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. Read. From the end of the earth. From what? From the end of the earth. Uh-huh. As swift as the eagle. As swift as the what? As the eagle. What is the symbol of the white man? On the back of your dollar bill, what you see? Bring it out. You got a dollar? Who got a dollar on? Oh, right it's in the flyer. Check this out. Open that flyer up. What do you see? A nation. Read that verse on the top again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, Read. as swift as the eagle fly. As swift as the what? Eagle fly. Where's the symbol of this country? The eagle. That man that he brought forth was the so-called European man. Correct? So he brought the so-called white man against the children of Israel. Read. Now, what we're doing is proving that the so-called Native American Indian and the so-called black man were one family. We've been divided and conquered. And we don't know that we are the children of this book. That's We've right. been taught that this is a white man's book. But this is the history book of our people, and God has given you the history of what would happen to us in this country. You understand? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because you didn't understand the English when you when they came here. We didn't understand English. We was all speaking Hebrew. Read. 
a nation of fierce countenance, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of old. So did they not put old people in slavery? Were they not slaughtering the old? Read. Nor show favor to the young. Did they not raise the children that was young? And they, at two or three years old, they had them out there in the cotton field. This was a curse that God said was to happen to the children of Israel. What? Did that happen to anybody else on this earth? What? Read. All right, give me verse 48. Yes, sir. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said we will serve these enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent them against us. Read. In hunger. So now, guess what? You have to go to them for food. Because do we own any other uh, food supply? No, we don't own Kroger's. We don't own Bilo's. We don't own Publix. Now we have to go to them. For what? For food. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. Read. And in thirst. And what? And in thirst. Who did you get that uh, soda that you got in your hand right there? Who did you get that from? Bring it that up. Water? Who did you get that from? Right. That's going to be the other nations that you had to go get that water from, correct? Read. And in nakedness. The very clothes on your back. Is your people making those clothes? Is your people making those clothes? Yeah, we already know. This very cotton that we used to have to pick, now we have to buy our own clothes. That's right. Read. And in what of all things. In the what? And in what of all things. So now, and the one of all things do you have to go to your enemies for? Think about it. At one time, you ruled this whole planet, and you guess, I mean, this whole uh, North America, and wherever you wanted, hey, it was freely yours. Right. Now you have to pay for food. You have to pay for water. You have to pay for clothing. You want an education, you got to go to your enemies for. Right. You want a marriage license, you got to go to your enemies for. Right. Hey, to be declared dead, you got to go to your enemies for. And who did this happen to? The children of Israel. That's it happened to right. no one else. This proves that we are what? The children of the book. Right. And why did all these things happen? Jump back, uh, back up to verse 46. Bring it up. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. Hold on. Give me uh, verse 40, yeah, 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. All these curses that God said would happen if we didn't keep these laws and commandments. Shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou be what? Destroyed. Now when I ask you what's your nationality, what do you say? Black. Now check this out. You see your you see uh, your watch. What color is that? Are you the same color as that as, as your uh, you see that? Hey, that's what happens when we're destroyed, we don't know who we are as a people. You understand? Because let me ask you something. Have they not just took your heritage away from you? Right? You think that was one of the curses that were following our people? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. No, watch this. Because let me ask you something. Do your people continue to have the heritage or have they followed the customs of the other nations? Right. They don't forget about their nationality. They forgot about their heritage. There's a lot of Native Americans right now that have no clue that they are actually true natives of this land. Right. You got some of them right now saying they what? African Americans. And they what? Native American Indians? Jay, just like you. At least you know it. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So guess what? Your people discontinue from their heritage. Our people discontinue from their heritage. Because they've forgotten that they are the children of God. Right. They've forgotten that they are Israelites. Right. Because why? We walked away from God's laws, statutes, commandments. Right. We forgot the everlasting God that was over us. Finish it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Hey, you keep hearing that? He said, I'm going to cause thee to serve thy enemies. Are these people your friends that stole the land? Sis, let me ask you something. I want you to hear this verse again. Watch this. When I ask you what's your nationality, my brother, when I ask you what's your nationality, what do you say? Hey, all praises. So you know you're an Israelite. So let me ask you. Do you know what's required of an Israelite? You don't know what's required? Let's get there. Because it's one thing to know that you're an Israelite. That's a, that's a beginning. Now you got to find out what's required of you. Because who are the children of Israel? The people of God. So God would be our father. 
as the children of God, don't you think there's things that's required of us? All right, let's find out. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? That's a, cool, that's a simple question, right? What does God require of you? You know you're an Israelite. How long have you known you're an Israelite? You're going to do it all your life? Okay. Great. But to fear the Lord thy God. Right, read that again. To fear the Lord thy God. So we're supposed to fear God. Read. To walk in all his ways. We're supposed to walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now you're going to sum up all that and how you're supposed to do that. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Now, let me ask you, your whole life that you knew you was an Israelite, did you know that you're supposed to keep the commandments? Yeah. And do you know the commandments? Yeah. All right. How many commandments are there? 10. 10, you say 10 commandments. Yeah. Let me ask you, is homosexuality part of the 10? Bring it up. Is that a commandment Bring not it. to be homosexual? No. That's not a commandment? Let's get that. So you think you can be a homosexual and get into the kingdom? No. Uh, it's not in the commandments. Why not? A commandment would be something God tell you not to do or to do. That's a commandment, right? Anything God say, that's a commandment, right? Watch this. You got Leviticus 18. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. That's a commandment. He said a man shouldn't lie with mankind. A man should not lie with another man. That's a commandment, right? Read. As with womankind. Like you would do a woman. Read. It is abomination. And say what? Abomination. For a man to be with a man, that's an abomination. Right. For a woman to be with another woman, that's an abomination. Right. You understand? That's a commandment. You understand that? So, if you wasn't taught the commandments, do you realize, first of all, do you know what sin is? Yeah. What is sin? Uh, okay. But do you know what it means in the Bible? What does the Bible verse tell you? What sin is? Okay, I'll pray. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Read out. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. He said, whoever commits sin, transgresses the law. Law and commandments are the same word. So whoever commits sin breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. You understand? So there's 613 commandments. There's not 20. Right. You understand? So by not knowing the laws, what have you been doing this whole time by not knowing the laws? Right, let me ask you, what, today, what is today? You, you're going to say that, that not knowing the laws is a sin? I'm telling you by you breaking the laws because you didn't know them. You've been in sin. But the Bible also says that a man who doesn't know is, to him it is not a sin. What, what? Let's Romans 7 and 7. Let's find out. Let me show you something. To, uh, let me ask you something. I just gave you, an, um, I'm going to give you a law in a second. All right, when you hear that law, you're going to keep the law. Because how do you show God love? Hold that what you got first. How do you show God love? By showing love to your neighbor. That's, that's a commandment. Love that neighbor. But how do you show God love? By praying to them. All right, I'm going to show you how you show God love. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. And we do what? Keep his commandments. We have to keep his commandments. That's how you show God love. Now, what would be the opposite of love? Hey, what's the opposite of doing the commandments? Breaking them. So if you break the commandments, that's hatred towards God. You understand? Now, go back to the Romans. Romans chapter 7, verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Is the what? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay. I had not known sin, but by the law. How would you know what sin was if it wasn't the law telling you something? Was? Right. How would you know that, hey, like for instance, today, I asked you, did you know what today was, right? You know what today is? What is today? 
is the Sabbath, right? Now, what's required of you on the Sabbath day? Not to work? Hey, that's a good one. Um, and to worship the Lord. What yes, to worship the Lord. So let me ask you something. Watch, I want you to hear this one. Can you buy and sell on the Sabbath? No. Can't buy and sell. Can you do your own pleasure on the Sabbath? No. Right. So if you was out here amongst the people, what does that look like you're doing? Are they breaking the Sabbath? Are these people breaking the Sabbath? Yes. Right, right, right. So what would it look like you're doing if you're right here amongst them? They look the same. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. And if the people of the land bring well or individuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So, you know, they out here, what? Selling they, 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 they trinkets and toys and food. They doing all that, right? Yeah, they're doing it, buying and selling. That's what's going on. And you know why it's going on? Because these people don't serve God. Right. They don't serve God. Simple as that. Because they serve God, would they keep the Sabbath? Right. They would keep that commandment, right? They would show love to God. Because you found out what love was, was keeping the commandments. So do you think they love God? No, no. So you, you know that they don't love God by breaking the commandments, and we're out here in the midst of them. Are we not uh, uh, showing evil? Bring it up. Are we not sitting there participating in evil too? Right? But I understand you didn't know uh, didn't know a lot of the laws. Have you, have you been an Israelite your whole life? That's your wife? I'm oh, crazy. Did you teach her she was an Israelite? Did you teach her the commandments? You didn't teach her the commandments. You didn't know that's a commandment from God. That you're supposed to actually teach her the commandment. Because watch this. Go back to Amos 3 and 3. I'm going to show you something right quick. Because you know you're an Israelite. She don't know she's an Israelite. You know, there will be problems in a marriage for the simple fact that y'all don't walk together. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happened with a lot of our people today. Why there's a lot of divorce because we're not on the same accord. Right. You know what I'm saying? To build a, a, a good marriage, this has to be your foundation. You agree? The Bible. Right. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can up. two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? What you're going to agree on is what? The word of God, correct? Go with 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 30. Watch this. I'm going to show you what you should be doing. Simple as that. I'm going to show you what you should be doing. Because... What's the wages of sin? Death. And so that would be the payment for breaking those commandments would be death. Right? You don't want to die. You don't want your wife to die, right? So this is the reason why we're on those slave ships for what? Breaking the commandments, right? First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, uh -huh. but of peace, right. as in all the churches of the saints. Well, guess what? The church starts in your home, right? So your home got to have peace. Got to have peace in your marriage, right? Yes. It starts right where? At home. That's where the church begins, right? Do you agree? Agree. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. This ain't really talking about she can't talk. This is talking about right here is talking about being over a congregation. Because we know that, hey, women bring a lot of confusion, right? That's why you say he's not the author of confusion, but of peace. So we shouldn't have women over congregation. Read. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience. So let me ask you, is it 50-50 in the marriage or are you the head? Right. So what you say, go. Right? The woman's desire should be towards the man. You agree, sis? You agree? I'll pray. <laughs> to be under obedience as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, they're going to learn anything, Read. Really. Let them ask their husbands at home. Let them do what? Let them ask their husbands at home. So guess what? You're supposed to be teaching your wife at home, right? So what should you be teaching her? Let me Malachi 2 and 6. So what should you be teaching her? Right. You're going to teach her the Bible, but what specifically should your focus be on? The only commandments. Why? I know. I want you to see. I want you to think about the things that you don't learn. Cause what is sin? 
Yeah. What was sin again? Uh, breaking the law. Breaking the law. And you said the wages of sin is what? So you're going to teach what? So she don't die. What you going to teach her? Right, read. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. He's going to do what? And they shall seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Well, the Israelites are called to be the messengers of God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.